Hello everyone, this is Panda and I want to talk to you guys about a TMZ wagon update that someone left a comment that says that I don't do enough updates to validate the claim to why they should buy this wagon. I never said you should buy it. I say it's recommended that you should buy it because it's better than most. So with that said everyone, take everything I want to say with a grain of salt. This is my 90 day review with the second TMZ wagon. The first wagon we got was purchased in March of 2021 and lasted to December 2021 so that should give you a good margin but keep in mind also I was being very reckless and rough with the first wagon this second wagon I have not been so rough with I've been gentle I've been easy with it so keep my experience take it with a grain of salt so with that said everyone I'm the panda photographer I'm a travel photographer a documentarian and we here live in New York City I've been traveling with the TMZ wagons all the way from Vancouver, Washington, San Francisco, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, Chicago, Boston, New York City, and this one is the second replacement. Now, let me tell you and let me give you guys an update. Now, the second replacement is the same materials, but a little bit shorter on the handle here. It's a little bit short, but the locking mechanism broke on this. The wheels that came with it was a spongy type rubber texture material. Once it gets wet, it gets very, very spongy, makes it very difficult to actually push down the street or wherever, you, wherever you're going. But I do not recommend it. This is why I saved the, wet, the wheels from the first wagon and put it on this wagon. And I had to do a little bit of a modification to make my own filters or gaskets between the wheels so it doesn't wobble back and forth but I would have to actually do a official fix on that one because it's actually breaking down but with that said everyone structurally it's holding up pretty well it's been 90 days since I got this second one it's been really really good it's holding up very well I really don't have any complaints other than the structure here it is Guys, when you are using this in the rain or seawater, please dry it off because rust starts to build. And once rust starts to build, the material starts to break. It will literally come apart if you don't dry it off. And I left some of the, the built up gook from the rain last night. Just to show you what causes rust. And if I were you, just clean it off so it doesn't get rusted so it, it can last a little bit longer. Because these wagons are not meant to last that long. Let me tell you why. They do not have a suspension system like a scooter or a bike. And this is why I say a lot of improvements need to be done to the TMZ wagon franchise or brand. Because if this wagon had actual suspensions, it would last much longer. The wagon cannot last this long or longer than probably one year. And let me tell you the reason why. Because once you have a wheel that's stuck in one place with no suspension, you're causing a lot of stress to the upper body and lower body and also the housing for the wheel, which causes the wagon to break down over time. So this is why this wagon is not meant to last for two, three years. It's meant to last as long as possible. But I've been using it every single day since I got it. So 90 days, I'm getting my money's worth. But take this with a grain of salt. Some of you may not want to use your wagon every day. You use it once a week or when you go to the beach or something like that. So it probably will last you longer than it will last longer than me. For me, in my experience, this doesn't last very long, no more than a, more than, no more than a year. And as the first wagon that we demonstrated and we purchased back in March of 2021 and then it died in December 2021 or January, it's officially January 2022, but still, and that video is on YouTube, I, I broke it down, I opened a box in it, we was in the subway here in New York City, but I like the wagon, I like the structure, it's easier to push, but I do recommend buying the wagon with these type style wheels these are the real rubber wheels that last much much longer keep that in mind but I do maintenance I do do some maintenance I do clean the bearings every 90 days which we just did the other day I do make sure I try to wipe things down 
clean things down before using the wagon so I know what to expect. I do look at and examine my wagon just to make sure that nothing is actually wrong. But I did notice something. My fix for these wheels is not permanent because the axle that goes between the wheel and through the wheel should be an all metal or, my, or aluminum like a spacer that comes all across but guess what this is bent so we're gonna have to do another DIY and go to a hardware store and try to get some metal gaskets that actually cannot bend and won't bend the the axle screw that holds the wheel in place but other than that guys this is my wagon update on the TMZ brand on Amazon now I have talked to the guys at Amazon at TMZ this is the wagon they sent as a replacement due to the first wagon breaking down so fast because we had problems in August with it then September then it just got worse so with that said everyone uh, I do recommend buying the wagons they nice push the pushing and the pulling is nice especially with these wheels definitely recommend it please look for the ones with these wheels I guarantee you, you'll be satisfied but other than that guys this is the Panda Photographer. I've been traveling from state to state and country to country with the TMZ wagons. And they've been really, really good. So I do recommend it. But I wish someone out there would make a wagon just like this, but with suspension frames. And that would last much longer than this wagon. Because the suspension is giving it agility, but also it's not leaving as much stress on the body. And this is. So... Keep in mind where you walk and how you go over bumps on the sidewalk or the streets. Because if the sidewalk streets are unsettled and unbalanced, you can literally bend the frame of this wagon. You can really do some damage to the wheels as well. So keep that in mind. With that said, everyone, thank you for watching. Please support the channel. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the notification bell icon. Make sure you click all because only 5.5% of you have them turned on. So with that said everyone, I'm the Panda Photographer and you guys want to support the channel financially. There's a PayPal cash out limo. Does help address my travel and my situation at this time. We are heading back west pretty soon. Enjoy the rest of the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.